Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to go from PF Track to Moto. So yeah, I've got a, a very basic scene that I uh, finished tracking. Um, I just used an auto track and a camera solver and then orient scene to orient it. And um, I've also added some test objects as you can see, some mushrooms and some cows. So let me show you guys how easy it is to go from PF Track into Moto. So basically we're going to add an export node. So I'm just going to connect that to my test objects. Um, double click on that to activate it. And um, then where it says format, all you need to do is make sure this is set to open Alembic 1.5.5. If you've got a little bit of a different version, it should be fine. But just make sure that it's set to Alembic. And then you need to obviously set the path we're going to export this to. So I'm going to just set this, um, I'm just going to call it uh, camera, camera track. All right, then I'm going to click on save and you'll see that it's got a ABC extension. That's good. Um, and I'm going to leave the scale as one. Whoops, just set that back to one. Um, and then here you can actually select what you want to export to Moto. So obviously I want to export my camera. So make sure that's ticked under groups. You can leave that checked as well. Trackers, I want to export all of those. And I also want to export my test objects. So my mushrooms and my cows, they're all ticked. That's good. Um, I don't have any textures and I don't have any point clouds. So not to worry about those two tabs. And uh, then I'm going to click on export scene and it's going to give you a little box export succeeded. Right. So now we're going to jump into Modo. So here in Modo, um, very simple stuff. You basically just need to go up to file and then go to import. And then we've got our camera track.abc. Just browse to that and click on open. Um, and then you're going to get this little box, the Alembic load options. And the only thing that you need to check here is import all frames. And that's basically going to make sure that it's importing all the frames throughout your clip. And then click on OK. OK, so let's go over to the animate layout. And um, then if I just move around here a bit, I'm actually not moving the, um, the PF track camera. I'm just moving the Modo camera. And obviously there you can see we've got our test objects. There is our camera. And uh, one thing that you will notice is the frame duration or the frame range is slightly different. So if we go back into PF track, uh, you'll see that it starts at one frame one and it goes all the way to frame three, three, two. And if we go back to Modo, you'll see that this will go all the way up to two, six, five. So that's basically a frame rate issue. Um, all you need to do is go to settings and then just change your frame rate to make sure that it matches your clip minus set to 30 frames a second so i'm going to set it to 30 and you'll see that will then change to 331 and that's fine because modo actually starts at frame zero so that's why it's one frame less but it's the same amount of frames altogether and obviously you can see our camera there you can see it's moving around which is pretty cool and um, if you want to look through that camera just make sure that you're selecting the correct camera here at the top so if i go to camera and this is the PF track one camera zero one underscore two. Okay, and if we play through this, then you'll see there we go. We've got our test objects, our mushrooms, and you can also see the trackers, those little points. Um, those are the trackers. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.